Welcome aboard Fantasia. Our performance 15.6 metre catamaran. Currently running under code D furling spinnaker. A lightweight seven and a half ton Uberator. and come inside here is spacious accommodation here are the Fantasia crew up here having a little chat enjoying the cool fore deck dolphins yeah. really yeah enjoying the lovely cool fore deck There's our code. Here we are. What are we using? Only, we're only using an 80 amps or something like that and making five knots. So that feels pretty good. Okay. So I, there, there were some videos of Fantasia sailing to give you an idea of the, the type of boat we're converting here. So yes, my name's Andrew and I'm the captain of Fantasia. I spent nine years designing her and four years, three months building her and launched her in 2009. Uh, in the intervening 14 years, uh, she has logged over 62,000 miles and which includes a voyage around Asia and sailing to many parts of Australia, as well as campaigning as a highly successful race boat. So while Fantasia is an easily driven boat, she's also 15.6 meters long and has quite a lot of windage. So my key concern in converting to an electric motor is that it will be able to develop the peak power that the 30 horsepower motor it's replacing develops for those all important maneuvering and pushing over a bar etc as well as of course having a decent range so my other aim is that the systems are very simple and also to use economical parts rather than just throwing money at, at the whole project so if you like simple simplicity and economical solutions you're on the right track here so this is the motor that we are going to be replacing with the 10 kilowatt electric motor for your entertainment and instructions on the controller and here is the control, the easy control, or the, probably the, the best thing about the whole system, the easy control. This is the absolutely winning thing from Golden Motors if you ask me. The easy controller, what sold me on the on the whole motor. Comes in a lovely box. So here it is got something in there look at it there's the control it's very heavy it's beautiful there's the it comes with the water cooling this all presumably screws in there yeah that's it it's a this is brilliant i reckon that's the controller then so what's in here oh looks like all the cables other People charge you like 400 bucks for all these cables, but this all comes with it, with, with the easy controller, and it comes equipped with the cooling unit on it, so there's a lot more to that controller, but I'll tell you about that later. Now, we're going to have this. Oop! Hey! Oops. There's the motor. That's all the piping for the water cooling system. Messy here. Yeah. I think it looks nice. Yes, yeah, so I think we're coming to the unboxing. 
Oh, you heard it? Oh, it's very heavy. comes with all the cables, you see, unlike the others where you have to buy all this cabling separately, the Golden Motors comes with all the cables already there, ready to plug in to the EZ controller. So it is an absolutely, uh, it looks very nice, Golden Motor. So I've a few days on and I've Rigged it all up here to see how, what I know and don't know. But first, before we have a look at the, the motor and controller, I shall take you in to the engine room and we shall have a look at the motor that it's going to be replacing, which is a beautiful Volvo D130 diesel. Uh, there it is, and I've been working out how to make the plate to put in to support the sail drive and, and hold the motor. One thing I won't be sad about losing is all the mess and the oil and changing the oil and changing the thousand dollar black box and all the, all the constant work that does get all messy work. So even though I love that motor, I'm very excited about the new electric motor. So first here is the Golden Motors 10 kilowatt motor. Now what's special about this motor is that it's a axial flux motor, meaning that the shaft goes through and is actually like a spinning top with the with the rotor in the middle there and the magnets on either side actually of the rotor. So the rotor can actually come right out to the edge here so that's what makes it so compact compared to the radial flux typical motors that are more like a hamster wheel there with the windings and the magnets taking up a, a fair thickness of the edge. So to get the sort of flywheel effect and torque, it, it gets it with a smaller diameter. So that's the patented Golden Motors design that I'm putting my faith in there and here is also their newly released controllers which just seemed like such a fantastic deal because for under a thousand dollars Australian you got all the cabling with the motor and all this additional cabling for all the all the attachments and it also comes equipped with the, the cooling plate um, which you normally have to buy separately as you have to buy the cables and these cables and then you have to have it programmed where this is already pre-programmed and is a self-learning type of device but it also comes with the Bluetooth connection that you can have on your phone or the, and, and adjust actually adjust all the parameters of the motor as well as you have a nice speedo voltage amps temperature all comes up on your phone okay so we're gonna do the golden motors 10 kilowatt um, initial test run I've got it wired up to my um, 15 kilowatt lithium bank just temporarily to give it a test run I've got the foot throttle down here that, I, that I'm going to be modifying to use with my cable system. So it, I've got the app up and running, which seems quite good, and Bluetooth to the phone, and you can control all the parameters of, the, of its operation. Very comprehensive, a lot of parameters that you can control, but apparently it's set for the it's set right anyway doesn't need any adjustment so it's also self-learning so here we can see the voltage the rpm 
and the motor temperature and the controller temperature as well as the current. So let's have a look at it at run here. So I'm going to run it up. Put some it's the the foot thing takes a little while to come on the foot throttle. There's quite a bit of travel and still bring it down slowly. And it starts to go there, so run it there. It's running like 800 revs. That is up at 2000 revs. The, the throttle control is quite sensitive, and I'm going to have to work on that, but just doing it with my foot is a little bit hit and miss, but there we are, 1000 RPM, take it up to 2000 RPM. There it is at 2000 RPM. We're going up. There's 2500. Take it all the way to 3000. That's 3400. 2,500, 4,000, a little bit of wobble there at 4,000 to shake the phone off, but it goes all the way to 4,500. It's quite powerful, and very smooth. There it is running at just 400 RPM. Drawing the current draws a bit up and down, but I suppose that's normal. Pretty quiet, too, very impressive. So, I'm feeling rather pleased with that. And the batteries are staying very steady. Yeah, so there we go. So I've had one session at tackling the engine and my plan is to dismantle as many pieces of it as I can to make it lighter. So I'm, well, if ever I had any regret for pulling the motor out and going electric, I just, they're rapid, rapidly dying away with the sort of mess that I'm confronted with when I remove the motor. That's sort of the scene there. And right, so... Got as much off the motor as seems possible. And I rigged up this Dyneema rope, which I'm hoping to slide motor out on just detached it from the sail drive here and it seems heavier than what I'd hoped so <laughs> let's see how we go okay so I've made it a few more inches and I'm currently just trying to lift it up onto these planks of wood now I'm just about to go and enlist the help of my partner but I figure if I can Lift it like that, maybe I'll to get those planks under and get it up onto there. But what happens next, I'm not quite sure. Alright, so we've got it this far, which has been a fair struggle. It's sort of not got a very solid plan here, but we're also working on a heat wave day. But it's halfway across the bathroom 
it's a fair way to go. So we're making a bit of progress in, the de in our de-icing project there. And we'll go up to here. We we'll just to slide it all there through the bathroom. Right, so we have succeeded in without any any trouble, any disaster, in dragging the motor out here. And up we've got it up the stairs now. We use this block and tackle here. A combination of Carolyn pulling and me lifting and pulling it away from the stairs. We've got it there, which is seemingly the hardest part of getting it out. Well, we've got it off the boat and onto the dock, which has been quite the day's work. Right, so there's the lovely clean space left with the removal of the, the diesel, and now we can move on. All right, well, this is the progress we've made after yesterday. We've got the, the BMS and the active balancer wires all, all set. Should go to 250, but I'm a little bit hesitant on my first line to go too fast, and I am quickly bearing down on the uh, on the thin fleet, so I might just hold our chest there. Come down to a nice, gentle cruising speed, which is about there. 